Hey everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an advanced slider animation step by step. So without further ado, let's jump right in. First things first, let's add a rectangle. We'll insert an image inside it. Go ahead and size it up to fit your design. Now we're going to create the overlay for it. Select everything except the image and group them together. Next, create three more duplicates of the image. You can use this plugin to quickly add different images. Now set the opacity of all of the images to zero, except for the first one. Let's move on to the text. We'll create four more text duplicates and change the content for each one. Select all the text layers and convert them into a frame. And make sure to enable the clip content option for the frame so nothing overlaps. Next, let's add a description. We'll create a button as well. Let's create the cards next and add images to them. Since we're building an endless slider, make sure to duplicate the first three images for the loop. Mm -hmm. 
select all of them and convert them into a frame. Again, enable clip content for the frame. Now place the image frame onto the main frame and we're starting to see things come together. Let's add a nav bar. I've already created one, so I'll just copy it over to save some time. Go ahead and add rulers for the position references. Now let's duplicate the frame. In this new frame, we're going to move the text around to change the category name. Next, we'll select all the images and move them to the left so the second image becomes the first. Now, increase the size of the image. Also, don't forget to adjust the spacing between each image to keep everything consistent. And let's add a border to it. Now, set the opacity of the first background image to zero and the second one to 100. Don't forget to change the color of the button. All right, now duplicate the frame again and repeat the same process for the next slide. We'll keep duplicating and following this process until we have all our slides. Make sure the fifth frame matches the first frame exactly, so we get that smooth loop. Now it's time to add the prototype. Link all the frames to one another.
Don't forget to connect the last frame back to the first one to complete the loop. Let's test it out and see how it works. Perfect. Everything's looking smooth. If this tutorial helped you out, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and share your thoughts. Your feedback helps me create more valuable content for you. That's it for now, guys.